Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this math Olympia problem? It's 1 raised to power x minus 2 tenths 9 raised to power x equals to 3. From here, we can rewrite this as 9 square raised to power x. 81 can be written as 9 square, that's 9 times 9, then minus 2 times 9 square, 9 raised to power x, yeah, then equals to 3. And from the law of indices, we can rewrite what we have here. And uh, this power can be interchanged, and this will become 9 raised to power x, then raised to power 2, minus 2 times 9 raised to power x, equals to 3. Now, from here, we have 9 raised to power x, comma here. We have 9 raised to power x, 9 raised to power x. So, we can use a letter to represent that. So let u be equals to 9 raised to power x. Then when we write this again now, we are going to have u squared minus 2 times u, that's 2u, then equals to 3 from here. Then when we take 3 to this side, this will become u squared minus 2u, then minus 3 equals to 0. We can solve this quadratic equation by you know factorizing here when we factorize this we have u square minus 3u plus u minus 3 equals to 0 from here minus 3u plus u will give us minus 2u and then when we factor what is common and we group it into here what is common here is u then we have u minus 3 left here then plus what is common here is 1, then we have u minus 3 here as well, equals to 0. Then from here, we have u minus 3 common. So when we take it out, we have u minus 3, then times, we have u plus 1 here, equals to 0. So we have two possible cases here. We have u minus 3 equals to 0, or we have u plus 1 equals to 0. From here, u is equals to 3. And also from this side, we have u to be equals to minus 1. And we represented u as 9 raised to power x. So we can say 9 raised to power x equals to 3 from here. And on this side as well, we have 9 raised to power x equals to minus 1. And then when you look at this, 9 raised to power x will be positive, that is a number greater than 0. And here we have a number less than 0 here. So that means here we can't have a solution here. Then on this side, we can express 9 as 3 raised to power 2. And that will be 3 raised to power 2x now. Which is equal to 3 here raised to power 1. And uh, from here, we have the base are equal, we have 3 as the base. Then we can equate the power. We have 2x now equals to 1. Then divide both sides by 2 to get x. Then we can say from here, x will be equals to 1 over 2, which is x equals to half. So here we have the value of x in this our problem. Thank you for watching. Share these videos and also give a thumbs up. See you in the next class and bye for now.